do you follow me? Can a weaver not soak his feet in the cool sand? Our village has troubles, Akira. I go here to set mine afloat on Ngadi's back. How could you know about... I stole the Koiki, not Tamau. Ruanu would have us waste our last Koiki on a ceremony to the gods. I say the seeds must be harvested and planted. So I hide them by the shore, where the sun warms the sand just so, and I wait. Ikira, do you cultivate? Koiki is tough, stubborn. It does not surrender without a fight. I let Amira's hot breath warm the heart of the seeds and tell them to grow. Ruanu would not understand. A Kuwaru like me is no farmer. It is not my place to decide what is harvested. But if I can spring life from the Koiki seeds, then we have a chance to feed the tribe on a new crop. At least, what tribe still lives by the time the fruit grows? What say? He has stolen, insulted us, even hurled insults at the gods. He is no innocent, I say. If birthing a new crop of Koiki means his sacrifice, even Ngadi would forgive this. Ikira, but say nothing. If Ruana takes back the Koiki, we will grow nothing else in time to sustain the tribe. I beg of you, for the good of the tribe, let Tumau meet the gods that the rest of us might eat again. So the hatching scampered off then. I hope they recall this as nothing but a bad dream. Ikira. Ikira. Tamau was creeping around the drying hut where we stored Kawiki for the ceremony, north of our Ranga's home. I grabbed Tamau by the wrist and dragged him to Makumu. We found all of the Kawiki were gone. The snake brought this on himself, I say. Now Makumu will deliver him to Tangaloa's maw where he belongs. Tamau is the thief. Ikira, day and night I catch fish for the tribe. It is said the gods piss on the souls of liars before sending them back to Aorius crew. Kohopa must have made Tamau from sand lice, because he gives nothing to the tribe, only takes. Ikira, I say Tamau is guilty even if he has no koiki juice on his hands. He hates the tribe. Pity and charity fill his belly and shell pouch, and he has not strained a muscle to serve anyone but himself. Knowing this does not bring the Kowiki back to the drying hut, but it will help to heal the tribe. No, he wants the Kowiki and the guilty. So do we all, I say. I cannot say if the true thief covered their tracks, since Makumu never looked for clues. But the drying hut? Ikira, in his sandals, this is where I would look. The high tide is stingy with fish, and the low tide even more so. Well, the fish do not swim to you, brother? Hmm, strange. Ikira, for Ingadi does not bless us all equally. What more you need? Thank you. 
Whatever you need, you must only ask. Yes, hello. Whatever you need, I can help. What say? The king who speak through a false blowhole? Prove it. Show me the real traitor. Do not waste my time, I say. Yes, hello. Whatever you need, I can help. You'll want to speak with this knife wielding baboon, Makumu. What say? Is the Brime Imp ready for his confession? Hit him from all the sand crabs and liars, I say. Ikira, that is no work of mine. Though I want to see you lose a finger to the crabs digging up the rest. I say I'm beyond finished. For this, I'll feed you to Ngati myself. With respect, it is not for you to question how I protect the tribe and appease the gods. Unless you think someone else is to blame. Akira, okay, uh, this is true? Why would Rangi do this? What say? He thinks a weaver knows better than the Ranga what to do with our fruit? Two traitors, but only one deserves death this day. <laughs> 